All right. In the last video, we were able to obtain all of the movies from the MongoDB, isn't it? Now, in this video, let's implement the feature to search for a specific movie based on the search string provided by the user. Now, the search string or the search criteria by the user can be anything. So what do I mean by that? So a user can search for a movie based on the name or a user can search for a movie based on part of a description of a movie or the search string can be the director name or part of the director name or the search string can be one or more of the actors who have acted in the movie. Now, this is going to be a text based search, isn't it? So we are searching for a specific text in our collection or in our documents and we want to search for a specific movie based on that text. In order to achieve this, first we'll tell MongoDB that this is going to be a text based search. So how do we tell MongoDB that this is going to be a text based search? So for that, let's go to our MongoDB UI. So this is our collection, movie collection, right? So there is a column called indexes. So if we go to this index, by default, there is an index called underscore ID. So this is going to be the uh, index for our primary key. Okay. Now we can create indexes using this UI here and add fields, the required fields that we want. So our search criteria can be anything, right? So our search criteria can be based on the actors. And then we have something called as text based indexing here, text here, the option. So we can add all the fields. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it from the MongoDB backend first. Okay. I'm going to run this command. This is going to do the exact same thing that we see from the UI. So this is going to create the index for this movie collection for all of these. So for the name, description, language, director, actors, I'll tell what this is in just a bit. Okay. So let's go to our MongoDB. So I'll log into the Mongo shell or the Mongo console, and then uh, this is going to be show databases. So what we want to do is we want to go to the movies database, right? So we, let's do movies DB. Now, once we are here, we can paste this command. Okay. I'm going to create this index for for a collection within this movies db called movie right so i'm going to run this and this says okay so that means the index was created so the number of indexes before was one and then after it was two i'll i'll show this in the ui also so let's go back to the ui i'll cancel this uh, initially we have only one index right now let's refresh and we have a new index so this is going to be an index based on name language this is a text based index that's why we have this text here so this this index is based on name description director actors and everything right so this is what we want now let's first test whether this works or not correctly so there is another command to do that not to search for a movie based on the index so db.find is going to movie.find so this is the collection name right so this is going to be a text based search right for this particular movie. So let's search for this movie now and we have the details about the movie called free guy, right? All of the details. Now let's search for a different example. Okay. Let's say, let, let me try for Kriti Sanon or let me just try for Kriti. Okay. Let's go here and I'll search for this particular name. Now this works too. So we have this movie here called Mimi, right? Let's try for something else. So let's try for something in the description. Okay. Uh, supernatural. Okay. Such so like a good word. So let's try for that. And we have that movie, Jungle Cruise, whatever we saw here, right? So this index has been now created okay now let's get to the mongodb ui 
and I'll explain the other option that we saw here, right? So this option here, why did I give this? So let me try to create this index, okay? We already have the index, but I'll show you the issue that we see here. I'm going to say new index, okay? And this will include, let me add all of the fields again, okay? Okay, let me just add three fields, okay? Language and everything is going to be text-based, okay? Now, let me try to create the index and I'll show you what the issue is. So, this says, okay, an equivalent index exists, right? So, let me drop this index first. I'll remove this. Okay, now let's try to create the index again. Um, my index, I'll call it. Okay, now let me add like a couple of fields. I'm not going to add all of them. Let me add for language. And I'll show you the issue that we see with this. So, what did it say? It says language override unsupported Telugu. So, what does this mean? So, this is a language, right? One of the movies is in this language. So, let me show you something. So, here, MongoDB assumes that a field with the name language, like for example here the language is English and it assumes that the documents are in that particular language and it has support for that, for support for English. Here, if we specify language as Spanish, then the documents are in this particular language and MongoDB indexes the documents based in this particular language. Now, there is no support for a language called Telugu. But our intention was not to index the documents on this language, isn't it? Our intention was to index the documents in English, right? But our language of the movie can be different. Our index is in English, but the language of the movie can be a separate language. So that's the reason if I... So in order to tell MongoDB, don't index this particular field based on the language of based on the language that we see here right so don't index when we see a language other than english um, like for example here we have hindi and here we have telugu so don't index this document in this particular language so we are telling that we are overriding that explicitly by some dummy field, okay? This this can be anything. So, so by specifying this, we can create the index in the default language, which is English. So let me go ahead and then create the index again, okay? Now, if I try to search for it, because we removed the index, this is going to fail, right? There's no index. Now I'll recreate the index, all right? So we have the index. Now I'm gonna search for it again, and we have the data back. So, in the next video, we'll programmatically access these movies based on the search string provided by the user. I hope this video was useful. Thank you.